I think statistics has fundamentally changed our everyday lives. Just think about public transport, what it takes to get a million people to work. Yeah, you can always hear the gears turning, crunching all this data. Exactly, so many things to consider. Yeah, there's the weather, uh, rostering the drivers on, um, thinking about if there's track works. Yeah, but to a normal person, this totally appears seamless. Yeah. All right, nice one. That was pretty good. Um, can we just have a, another go at the intro? Thanks. Yeah, sure. Sure. My name is Saskia. And my name is Nick. And you're listening to Credibly Curious, a podcast about statistics. And the programming language R. So today we're talking about data in medicine. It all starts with an MRI. As a bioinformatician, I use the power of data to reveal the genes behind epilepsy, which is a disease that originates in the brain. To find a cure or to make any progress, you have to understand the evidence. Science and medicine wouldn't exist without statistics. In this case, the cells with epilepsy produce different amounts of molecules. We analyze the RNA of thousands of individual cells. And that's a lot of data. In my job, I have one foot in the world of biology and another in the world of mathematics. I have got two groups of cells. Only one of them causes epilepsy. But just like in court, I have to assume that they're all the same. No one is guilty until proven otherwise. To best show the guilty cells, statistics borrows from art and design. A good graph should be simple and beautiful. The data should speak for itself. So once you've found that guilty gene, what happens next? Well, then it's up to the biologist to go back to the lab and figure out a cure. That sounds pretty simple, right? Not really. <laughs> It's still a long way to go. Yeah, that's amazing. Stats is in everything, right? Cool, that was good. Uh, I reckon that's a take, guys. Um, Saskia, you want to give us the tagline, thanks? Sure. To help us understand the world, we need to be informed. We need data. With statistics, we can better analyze why and how things happen. And most importantly, we can learn from the past to make better decisions in the future.